And I went swimming today, come home, took me a nap. Well, they wouldn't let me sleep. I got it, I said, do a reading. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming down, guarding and protecting us as we channel the messages. Thank you, ancestors, ascending masters, for everything that you do. Thank you um, for all the helpful healing messages and the truth. Okay? Um, anything hidden or in the dark, let it be revealed. We're divinely guided. We're right where we're supposed to be. Let us see all the signs that we need to see. Thank you. Okay? Any kind of evil eye, evil intent, anything like that, send back the sender tenfold. And uh, we stand in our power. Thank you. Okay, I feel like the Divine Feminine has a message. Ooh, it's kind of warm in here. Hold on, let me open the back door real quick. Man, I get to doing these. As soon as I start doing this message, my nose started itching. I was like, man, they got something to say. I mean, as soon as I started doing it, my nose started itching. Okay, what do we need to know right now? What's the most important thing we need to know right now? The secret? Secret being revealed. Somebody come in and tell the truth. Now, that's what it says. It says, uh, releasing burdens. Okay, what else? Moving on to calmer waters. Seeing the sun. The sun and the moon. The sun and the moon. Um, those keep coming out together. Okay? That's kind of a couple in itself. Okay, um, judgment is here on it. Okay? On these burdens. That's the truth. Bottom of the deck shows the truth. Okay? Um, something's being told about a secret. Okay? Um, magic being done. And someone's coming to tell the truth about it. Justice is here. About these burdens. Justice and ju judgment. Okay? Um, anything else? So someone stole out of the garden of a lover. This person is waiting on the truth. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck. If someone's thinking about you. Want to take it on the calmer waters. It's the devil. This devil is heartbroken. Okay. Um, in love with this queen of, queen of chalice. Okay. I'm about to take some kind of action. Okay, well, I'll see it. I'll believe it when I see it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I believe it when I see it. Okay? Because uh, I don't see it. So, uh, you can keep telling me the same story over and over and over again and nothing ever happens. <laughs> or you can start telling me something that, that's going to... Some action, okay? Uh, divine time in my ass. Okay? <laughs> Y'all, I'm just playing, okay? But damn. I mean, come on. I'm tired of just... The... Uh, not knowing nothing, okay? It's bull. It's bull. It says, um, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Second Corinthians 6 2. Something might be coming today. Here, let's ring this bell. Be nice if Serendipity came today. That'd be sweet. Sweet as sweet. She, uh, Serendipity. I had a beautiful day at the, at the, at the swimming pool, so um, I might go back, I don't know. Hidden cameras and special abilities. Um, that's what come out. Okay. Um, but I met somebody that... Uh, it's like I knew this person immediately, and she was like... Um, I told her what my birthday was, and told her that, you know... And she, she, she going to go somewhere and get me a... She's going to a crystal show or something, and said she's going to bring me one back. <laughs> She's very sweet, pretty nice. It was neat. Had a nice day. Okay, um, we're just gonna take the bottom one. See nature. They want you to go out in nature, okay? Um, I've been going to the pool. It's out in nature, but it's the pool. You know what I'm saying? Thought about going walking around up that park up there. It says recognizing how the natural world and human-made world are intertwined can bring great joy and appreciation. When we take time to see nature and the environment around us, it opens us up to a sense of wonder. Um, take some time to explore your surroundings and look for nature in unexpected places. A tree, a bird, a flower, a gorgeous sunset, a drop of rain. Once you train your mind to see small moments of beauty, you can cultivate moments of joy in everyday life. Okay? They want you to see nature. 
Okay. Um, what y'all got to say? The hummingbird, the sun, y'all. Back pages? Okay. This one? Okay. All right, it says 279. It says, um, maybe that's why they were wondering, too. There's a moment of awkwardness as they both hesitate. Um, then he comes forward. They hug. That lump in their throat again. Giacomas? I don't know. That's somebody's name. Brief meltdown earlier scared them both. If they started crying now, it'll be a disaster. It'll ruin everything. They're still holding on tight to each other. Okay? So, your divine, your divine masculine or your counterpart is holding on tight to you, okay? It says, I'm sorry, uh, he says. Um, no, I'm sorry, she says. It says, um, they let go, deep breath, that's it, done. It's Louise's turn now. Here she comes. Um, Marco's heart starts pounding again. Her silver green eyes, her sun-drenched brown hair, still glowing. Her soft neck, her scent, which is the scent of the sea, the same as all those years ago. Okay. It says, um, Marco hasn't prepared anything to say. He decided he was just going to say the first thing that crossed his mind. And in that precise moment, seeing her, he knows. Do you know what day it is today? No. It's the 2nd of June. Something's going to happen on the 2nd of June, I'm telling y'all, okay. It says, and what day is that? And she smiles puzzled. It says, the anniversary of Italian Republic. Yes, what else? Louisa shakes her head, smiling. It is the furthest day of the year from my birthday, he continues. Wow, this is a Capricorn Cancer situation, or Gemini, actually. Okay, um, so it might be a Pisces Gemini. Okay, anyway, we're exactly six months away. What's that thing about righteous men dying on their birthday? What's that Hebrew word again? T-Z-A-D-I-K. It says, that's it. Well, I'm not T-Z-A-D-I-K. I'm the opposite of it, um, in fact. Are these really the last words Marco Carrera will say to Luisa? Talking about dying. Um, somebody's sick. So, yeah, um, somebody's sick. Remember, we kept seeing that. So, somebody might die. I don't know. Um, for all the things they've done. I don't know. If it resonates with you, hit the like button. Hit that bell notification, okay? Alright, so what do we got going on with these? Tell me something. Sanctuary. It says, good for you. It seems you've earned some time away from the chaos of life. It could be as small as a bubble bath or as a big, big as a trip. Or maybe a small trip to a big bubble bath. Or a normal sized trip to a tiny bubble bath. Or maybe you tripped and fell in someone's bath. Whatever it is, it's waiting for you with open arms. Just pick your favorite sanctuary and un unplug it for a bit, especially if a bath is involved. So find sanctuary, okay, and see nature. Okay, they, they want you to get out um, of, your, of your hermit shell, okay? It's time to come out. Um, you've revealed the truth, okay, and action's being taken on this. Um, we just need to wait on divine timing, as always, but... There's some kind of action being taken, okay? You got to get your mind off of things. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your top thoughts. Look for signs in the guidance. Okay? Alright, um... What else do we need to know about? Okay, um... Let me find out what kind of action they're, they're planning on taking. It's this devil taking action towards this queen of chalice, okay? Um... Uh, what kind of action is being taken? I'm going to use the tarot. Okay, what kind of... King of Cups showed on the bottom, y'all. What kind of action is being taken? Thank you, ancestors. Thank you for your, your, your helpful healing messages. What's this? Truth, justice, the devil, and the queen of chalice, okay? And, and the ace of wands. Says an... Coming in quickly, this devil, to, with the truth, towards this chariot to tell the truth. Give him justice. What? Y'all, I cannot make this up. What? 
because this chariot got their heart broken, so did this devil. It says about some kind of money, some kind of inheritance money. This Capricorn's coming in tell it's cancer. Period. The magician just popped out, y'all, and flipped back over. So it's the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is waiting on it, like, really waiting on it. That's this chalice right here. Okay? Um, somebody's mirroring. Um, it's causing a change. Um, their, their vibration is coming to yours. Look, they want to give you a cup of love. King of Cups. He wants to come in and give this Queen of Swords a cup of love. Or at least respect. <laughs> Public exposure. Telling the world. They want to, they want to tell everybody. They were blocked. Okay. Um, there's the secret again. Balance. Something coming that you did not see. Okay. You, you, weren't, you were paying attention to the wrong thing. It's causing a tower. Okay. Magician. So confused your love. The magician confused your love and made you not see this person here. You're the star. Okay. Now they want to give you a cup of love because now they're now they're confused. Okay. Looking out into the world with the star. Making things fair and balanced. Okay, what else? So exposing the illusions. Alright. I believe it when I see it. That's all I'm saying. I trust in the divine. This is the King of Wands. He went jumping way up here, so I guess I'll throw him up here. King of Wands, what? Taking action with strength, taking action towards this community um, that left him dangling. He says, they want to bring you a cup of love, for sure. They want to bring in a cup of love to their lover. It's somebody you've known or somebody you've been with before. He says, they try to sneak away or you try to sneak. you left and now they can't find you <laughs> when they seen the sun you left okay says uh destiny if it's destiny then they'll find you okay um for this queen of cups destiny judgment What's judgment being made on? Them, them stealing your money and betraying you. This king of pentacles was left in the dark and someone brought the light to him. Okay. Carrying burdens about it. Now they want to tell the truth. Walking away from that old shit to come to you. To come to the true love. That's a secret. No one knows that they're walking away from and exposing everything. Um, your money was blocked, but divine is making sure you get a new, a new cup. Okay, I mean a new pinnacle. That's part of your wish. Anything else? <clears throat> Brand new start and ending to the old shit. Someone offered you a cup when they were still at a third party and fooled you. Wheel of Fortune is changing everything for you in your favor. So someone made a new wish about, they've realized that it's a runner chaser situation. They've been working hard to put it to an end. The Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands doing? This could be a Virgo. It says past life situation. Two of them. They keep coming out together. Justice is here. Someone rising above. That's the truth. The world. 
Ending to the struggle, someone juggled you and tied you up. Now they're holding on to you. Put your money up, wearing a cloak about it, okay? Um, you're the fair lady, and you turned your back on the bullshit, but you're the, supposed to be the queen of pentacles, and you got your heart broken, okay? Um, this spiritual judge is about to do something about it, okay? Um, because this person is coming in. This is a different person than this devil. I'm telling you. This person has watched all of this go on and now wants to come forward and tell the truth, okay? Because they feel like that you that you deserve the truth. This is a different person than this King of Wands. Um, someone got wounded, okay? It says this devil, this Capricorn Emperor. Okay, I don't know how these keep coming out together, but they do every freaking time, okay? This Emperor is not representing a... Uh, Aries, um, if it is, um, this Aries is, is obsessed as crap with you, like, just obsessed with your life, okay? They want to move it on to calmer waters and bring their wish fulfillment, okay? Look, the Empress is the last one in the, in the deck. We got stability, someone watching you, you struggle, um, you brought it to life, like you showed everybody, and you're, you're about to get a, a, a brand new start um as the empress okay um or somebody tried to kill you but um i feel like that's a brand new start for the empress okay um new a new outlook on life okay and this person is a different person i'm trying to tell y'all um i believe that, that the counterpart is um may tell the truth but this other person has watched everything and they're going to come forward and tell the truth um they didn't realize that you, you know, who you were and stuff. Um, you may not have had s sexual relations with this person, but maybe in the spiritual world, I don't know. Um, they're calling them the lover, but um, this person may just be somebody that is in love with you. Um, we'll find out. y'all got to say they say light diamonds warrior of light for the family backstabbed a secret life appreciation complete change everything's in your perception um, something's dark your fantasy is here and you it was betrayed okay Fantasy was betrayed. It's teaching you something. Fantasy, boss up. Appreciation, healer. Self-hate. New journey. Change, other influences. Checkmate. Okay, I think that the counterpart, um, I think divine sending in you a soulmate. Okay, secret life, childhood. Face to face. Your child, you're about to come face to face with your childhood. Backstab. Now you're going to be rewarded. Family, weapons of protection, hit and run. Run, forest, run. Warrior of light, getting on the path. Diamonds, work, stay busy. Devil's, idle hands is devil playground. Light, is says, wheel of fortune. Party, fun, adventure. Perception is holding on. Smell the roses. Whole life. Smells. You know something. Dark out of order. The dark is out of order. Um, you need to move forward. Forget about the counterpart. Don't don't worry about him. If it's destiny, it's destiny. If it's uh, if you're not meant to be with him in this life, it'll be the next one. Okay. Um, but don't don't be sweating the counterpart. Okay. Don't don't worry about him or her or whatever. However you perceive it. Okay. Um, you're moving into a different uh, another. Things are about to be different for you, okay? Says, um, when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see, okay? It says, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light, okay? Trust in the Lord, okay? Trust in the Lord. Um, quit worrying about, you're being delayed because you're, 
you're not releasing the past, that past shit, okay? Um, so stop thinking about them. It says, through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Okay, so when you pray and you meditate, um, that, that uh, changes the world around you as you see it, okay? All right, what else we need to know? Sorry, y'all, I just ate nachos. It says, my father used to say to me, the only limit in your, to your success is your own imagination. I actually believe that. Like, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that I am, I might be, I might not be an Olympic figure skater. I'm sure there are barriers. I just have chosen not to acknowledge them. The universe is totally freaking out about how awesome you are. It's got you wrapped in a warm gorilla hug of adoration. It wants to give you everything you desire. Fear is boring. Please think of the things in your life that you're proud of, that fulfill you, that make you happy, and write them down somewhere. And look at that list every time you feel that you're failing. You're not failing. You're right on the right track, okay? Um, straighten up your crown and open your heart. Because if you keep your heart closed, um, you're, you're closing yourself off to your, to your blessings, okay? Um, just open up your heart and you, you're going to be fine, okay? Um, and... and, and Try to release all that negativity. Oh, the Bible, y'all. Okay, we're just going to read because these are little tiny words and I can't hardly see um, to read it. Okay, it says, um, John, chapter 5, verse 1. After this, a Jewish festival took place and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Um, by the sheep gate in Jerusalem, there is a pool called Bethsaida. In Aramaic, which is five colonnades. Within these lay a large number of dis, uh, disabled, blind, lame, and paralyzed. Okay, um, that's John 5 1 through. We'll read 5 2. John 5 1 through 5. One man was there who had been disabled for 38 years. Okay, we'll read all the way to 7. It says, When Jesus saw him lying there and realized he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to get well? Okay. Um, he answered the man, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up, but while I am coming, someone goes down ahead of me. Okay. Um, so Jesus is blessing this um, disabled person, okay. Um, and, and he's telling you to trust Trust in the Lord. Trust in the vine, like I said, okay? Um, they want you to know to trust them, okay? It says, you have messages coming in, okay? There's there's some big messages coming to you. Okay? Um, Y'all got... Let me get a couple of these. I was collecting me to know right now. I just woke up from a nap. It says, lift... Peacock, Starseed, Closed Off, Jump. Jump where? It says you have a deep knowing where to jump. Not me. If you cannot put your heart into it, take yourself out of it. Okay, well, um, even if you try, they won't let you. Past lives. Lovers spying. Let me tell you, someone has been spying on you. Um, I done moved, 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 okay? And every time I turn around, there's someone there spying on me. I keep running into these people and they keep coming up spying on me, okay? Um, I know it's not a coincidence because I don't believe in coincidences. Okay, it says you're Miss Pac-Man and a glow worm. <laughs> okay. It says fighters are being chased by a life-size Pac-Man ghost. Yeah. That's, okay, there's a glow worm there to help protect you, okay? Um, uh, almost like a caterpillar about to turn into a butterfly. It says an air... A hair metal concert. You're at a hair metal concert being chased by a Pac-Man ghost. Okay. Uh, 
I know I seen one turn around. I said Howard the Duck. Okay, Howard's were, Howard was like a, a Rico Suave kind of dude, okay? Um, kind of like Roger Rabbit. It says, choose a Muppet. I like, uh, I like the, uh, the chef. Okay, he's pretty cool too. Has pogo balls for feet. So you can bounce. Okay. You can bounce. I'm telling you to bounce. I'm telling you. Um, you're being chased by Pac-Man Ghost. Um, and it, it's just the Beastie Boys. You gotta fight for your right to party. <laughs> okay, if this resonates with anybody, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, hit the bell notification. Um, that way you can get the, the videos when they come out. Okay, what does um, Collective need to know from their subconscious? Oh, you're feeling vulnerable, y'all. It's Mer Mercury retrograde till June 3rd, okay? Um, that's probably why you're feeling vulnerable. Um, it says nudity, okay? Being naked or nude is par or partially closed is a strong indicator of feeling vulnerable in your waking life. Perhaps you're hiding something or not being true to who you really are. You might feel anxious that others will see through your disguise. Or you might be trying hard to impress but afraid you'll cause disappointment. The dream may be highlighting attention. On the one hand, you want to be completely honest and open with your people, um, or someone in particular. And on the other, you're afraid that if you do reveal your true feelings or personality, you'll be ridiculed or exposed as a fraud. The reaction of others to your nudity, as well as your own reaction, will help clarify the dream's meaning. If you don't feel embarrassed, perhaps you're being encouraged to be proud of who you are, or the way you think or act. If other people don't notice your nakedness, maybe you're worrying needlessly. Okay? Alright, um, well, I'm going to leave with that one right there. And, um, light and love to you, and I hope y'all have a blessed evening. Um, I will be back, um, but I'm fixing to go out in nature and, uh, find sanctuary. <laughs> okay, <laughs> God loves you, I love you, and, uh, see you on the flip side.